The Berlin Wall was perhaps the most infamous wall ever built. It divided not just a city, not just a country, not just a continent. It represented a divided world. Never again, the Berlin Wall. There have been some monumental walls built throughout history. The Great Wall was built to protect China from the nomadic tribes of the steppe and collect duties on goods transported along the Silk Road. It was once the largest man-made object in the world, extending for almost 4,000 miles. In 122 AD, the Roman Emperor Hadrian also built a wall from the North Sea to the Irish Sea to keep the Picts out of Britannia. The oldest known wall was built by the world's earliest civilization, the Sumerians in the 21st century BC. It stretched for hundreds of miles between the rivers Tigris and Euphrates. But perhaps no wall has more infamy than the Berlin Wall, which divided a country, Germany, and a continent, Europe, in two. It also split the world into two radically different ideological systems, two alternative political and economic systems, two huge separate trading blocks, which resulted in ways of life and technology so different and incompatible that they could have been developed on different planets. That is, until the Berlin Wall was breached during a popular revolt in November 1989, when the people in the east of the city decided they wanted the same as those on the other side and poured over in search of a better life. The Berlin Wall was built in 1961 by the Communist German Democratic Republic, cutting off West Berlin by land from surrounding East Germany. It was 27 miles long, 12 feet high and up to 160 yards wide in some places, and contained hundreds of watchtowers, trenches, floodlights, guard dogs and tripwire machine guns. The idea was to stop GDR citizens defecting to the West and Western citizens from entering the East. Despite this, during the years of the wall, around 5,000 Easterners got past it, under it and over it, to defect to West Berlin, and at least 140 are known to have died in the attempt. The first escape from East to West came just three days after work begun on the wall, when 19-year-old border guard Conrad Schumann dropped his submachine gun and leapt over the barbed wire fence he was supposed to be defending. He was picked up by West Berlin police and driven away to safety. The photograph taken by Peter Liebing of Conrad Schumann jumping the wall has become an iconic image of the Cold War era. Indeed, artists from all over the world have used the Berlin Wall and its fall as a major political statement to say they never want to see walls dividing people again. The open-air East Side Gallery in Berlin consists of a series of murals painted directly onto a remnant of the wall and attracts more than three million visitors a year. The Artists' Association in the project states that it is a monument to the fall of the Berlin Wall and the peaceful negotiation of borders and conventions between societies and people. In 1987, President Ronald Reagan went to West Berlin and made an historic speech. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Just two years after President Reagan's speech, a popular revolt in East Germany brought about the end of the Berlin Wall. It has become a dark corner of history now. But that has not stopped people wanting to build new walls. We must learn from history. No more walls in terms of trade. No more walls in terms of technology. This world needs an integrated global ecosystem that can help us promote faster technological innovation and stronger economic growth. <laughs>